couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by, but I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be tackling my whole house in this video. My kids recently stopped school so we are on summer break and I really just wanted to get in my house today and get everything reset, clean every single room and just start our summer off on a good foot. I am going to be tackling both the upstairs and the downstairs and I go through almost every single room. I don't do the upstairs bathroom or the playroom. But other than that, this is going to bring you guys so much cleaning motivation and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing a really awesome jewelry company later on in this video. So a big thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And I will get into that a little bit later. But for now, I am going to be starting out this cleaning video in my master bedroom. I feel like I always start upstairs in my cleaning videos, but that's just kind of how I do my routine. I always work from the top of my house to the bottom and also it's just easier to clean upstairs when my whole family is hanging out downstairs and I just kind of have the entire upstairs to get things done. I'm going to be doing all the things in here, dusting, vacuuming, putting things away and just getting this room nice and tidy. If you guys happen to be new to my channel or maybe this is the very first video that you stumbled upon, I really wanted to introduce myself. My name is Whitney. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband and I live in West Virginia, but we are originally from Maryland. We have three kids, a five-year-old son, a three-year-old daughter, and a three-month-old baby girl. I cannot believe Maddie is three months old already. I feel like the time is flying by. I do a ton of cleaning and organizing and all things motherhood here on my channel, and I always try to keep it real and show you guys the chaos and the mess because I know how our homes can get having little ones, so I never try to pre-clean or anything like that to really just motivate you guys and encourage you and let you know Know that you're not alone. If you are new to my channel today, I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below letting me know maybe where you're watching from or what you're doing while you're watching my video so that way I can say hello and welcome you to my channel. So I know I was saying before that my kids are home on summer break. They are all done school. Bear actually starts kindergarten in the fall and it's just crazy to me. I feel like my kids are growing up so fast. But one thing that I really want to do this summer is kind of create like a summer bucket list and things to do with the kids. I really want to make this summer fun. We did have some major life changes with the baby and everything, so I really just want them to have a great summer. So I really want to ask you guys and maybe see if you guys will leave some comments down below of some ideas that we can do this summer that won't like break the bank or anything but are just like a lot of fun to do with kids. Um, I am down for any ideas whether it's stuff at home or if we need to go somewhere. I just want to make the ultimate bucket list and just have a really fun summer with my kids. Yeah, I want your body, body, body. 
body to yeah body to your body, body, your body too, yeah, body too. I know that I said I was going to be doing primarily vlog style videos lately, um, but this week, for whatever reason, Maddie is just so fussy. She's constantly crying. Um, and so it was just a lot easier for me to just film when I could and then come back in here later and edit in some voiceovers. I feel like there's no easy way around doing YouTube. I'm just kind of winging it over here. So I'm just doing the best that I can. I'm having a really hard time finding that balance between doing things for myself and you know, having the time for the kids and my spouse and it's just a lot and I just want to encourage you guys and let you know if you're feeling the same way, you are not alone. We are all in this together. Um, but one thing that I have always pretty much done for myself is I do try to get ready every day. Even if I don't get ready until like 5 p.m., I still feel productive and I still feel like I'm doing something for myself. And honestly, sometimes I just throw on some leggings and a sweatshirt, but I will always put on jewelry. I feel like the minute I put jewelry on, I just feel like my day is so much better. I've always been really into jewelry. It's something that I've always just really loved and been passionate about and just have fun like shopping around for. And so I'm really excited to be working with Ana Luisa for today's video. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And I am so excited to share this company with you guys. They have the most beautiful jewelry. I was really impressed when I opened it and saw it in person. It is so much more beautiful in person. Not only is their jewelry simple and beautiful and timeless, but they are also a carbon neutral company, so there's no unnecessary mining or excessive markups. They are using recycled materials whenever they possibly can and are 100% carbon and water neutral, which is just awesome. Like I, I love a good company, but I also love a good company who does good for our planet as well. I feel like that is so important and something that I've always been very passionate about. And I got three pieces of jewelry that I'm so excited to show you guys. For starters, I got these really beautiful, dainty little hoops. I have worn gold hoops for as long as I can remember. They are the perfect everyday staple. And then I also got this really cute, dainty little daisy necklace. I'm obsessed with this. I've worn it every single day since I've gotten it and you can change the length of the chain as well. So I love that. And then I also got this cute ring with this tiny little diamond and I'm obsessed with it. I think it is so cute. And I love all of these pieces, but I love that you can wear them all together even more. I feel like they complement each other really well and they all come with their own little cases that is perfect for travel. So if you are interested in checking out Ana Luisa, I do have a code for 10% off for you guys. So I will leave that linked down below. And thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. It's actually the next day. Um, it's the day after Memorial Day. Tim had the morning off. He goes into work late tonight. So we decided to run into Costco and get quite a bit of things. We had just a lot of stuff we needed to get from Costco this time around. I tried to go to Costco probably every like two or three months. Um, sometimes more frequently, it just depends. But this time it had been a few months since we had gone. So I have a huge Costco haul for you guys that I'm gonna share really quickly. All right, so here is everything. I'm just gonna kind of start. Um, so Savannah really wanted some popsicles even though we already had some, but I went ahead and got those. Um, some mac and cheese. I really just wanted different variety for them. They were getting kind of sick of just the normal craft mac and cheese that I would normally get. So I went ahead and got this. 
Um, we do have a emergency food. I'm not going to get into that, but we did go ahead and pick that up as well. Um, some Clorox wipes. We did get some chips. The kids really wanted some chips. Um, and then I have these mini beef sticks. Tim likes to take the beef jerky to work, but they didn't have any today. So we went ahead and got these instead. Um, some fruit snacks, some Cheez-Its. Um, we love chicken patties. These are great for like a quick lunch. You can cut them up, put them on salad, whatever. And then this time around, I got frozen chicken breast. My mom was talking about how good these were instead of just getting like the normal chicken and then putting it in the freezer i decided to go ahead and get these so i'm excited to try those um and then what else we have some crackers and then i'm so excited for these so um loving life is megan she had some macaroons when she was in town visiting us and the kids loved them so much and i saw these at costco and i had to get them and they have so many flavors so i'm really excited to try those um, we have some sandwich bags some spaghetti pasta down there and then we do have the peanut butter pretzels love these they're a great snack um, a couple cases of body armor some pasta sauce and then we have some toilet paper, some juice, which we got into in the car. The kids were really thirsty. Um, a case of water, and then just some good old Rice Krispie treats. So that is everything that I got from Costco today. I think we spent, I think it was like $3.50 and some change. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away, and then I'm going to start cleaning the downstairs of our house. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha once I have put all of the groceries away, I am going to come into the living room and get that straightened up. The kids were actually outside playing in the sprinkler, and so I decided to take this time and just tackle the living room while I could. We do typically spend most of our time in the living room, so it's very hard to find the time to film in here just because I don't really want to like tell my kids to get out to film. So I always try to take advantage of this time when I can. So I'm going to get in here, pick up all of the toys and all of the things on the floor. And then I'm going to be taking off our pillow covers because I really wanted to wash them and just get them freshened up and ready for summer. I also desperately needed to wipe down our back door. We had some bird poop on there. I'm honestly impressed that a bird could angle themselves enough to get on our glass door. I don't know how they managed to do that, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. I'm just using the Spray Away glass cleaner to do this. And then I will take a Clorox wipe and just wipe down the handles on the door. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot and break us down, you yeah, can work it out. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot and break us down, you yeah, can work it out. Alpha and Omega. Now, I know it looks like it's a different day. I changed my outfit. It was so hot on this day. I think it was like 95 degrees and it was getting really warm in the house, so I wanted to change. But I am gonna get in here and vacuum down the couch. And yes, I do have to punch and kick the back cushions to get them fluffed up. They get flattened out so quickly and honestly, 
I just don't love this couch. So many of you guys ask about it and where it's from, but I do not recommend this couch. I don't recommend that you buy it. I will gladly give you the link and tell you where I got it from, but I will tell you the honest truth, I just don't love this couch. It hasn't held up over the years. We've had it for about four years now, and it's just completely trashed. It definitely, it's definitely run its course, but we're trying to hang on to it until Maddie is done potty training, and then we will invest in a new couch. None of that pretentious life No, 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 don't need no pills to get high There's no doubt in my mind Your love is all that I need I feel like there's always hidden gems under a couch when you have kids and this day it was almost an entire little pack of Cheez-Its that I found under there so that's always fun. Um, but once I'm done with the living room I am just going to quickly clean our half bathroom downstairs. I really just get in here, wipe down the mirror, the counter, the toilet, you know, the whole shebang. Now I do mop my entire first floor, but I actually did not film it. I had to come back downstairs at like midnight one night to get it done just because that's just the season of life that I'm in. I'm just not able to do it all. Um, and believe it or not, I had to pause. I want to say like a hundred times during this video while I was filming. I felt like every time I did one little task, I had to pause and either help a kid or soothe the baby, whatever it was. It just was one of those days for me. So I know it looks like I get it all done and I'm doing all the things in my video, but you guys aren't seeing the whole picture. And I want you to remember that because that is true for so many YouTubers. You're not seeing the whole picture. You're not seeing the... 30 takes that I did in between these clips to help out my kids. So just keep that in mind and don't ever compare yourselves to other people on the internet because I promise you, we are not doing it all either. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. To just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you. What Moving on to the kitchen, it was a mess this day. I had not cleaned the kitchen all day, so I had dishes from breakfast and lunch and just trash everywhere, um, leftover trash from Costco and all of that stuff. So. I needed to get this done and tackled before it was bedtime. I want to say it was about 7.30 at this point, so I was like rushing to get all of this done because bedtime in my house is absolute chaos, and so I want to get as much done as I can before that happens since it does take a couple of hours sometimes. And I did have a full load of dishes to put away, so I did do that first, and then I will kind of work my way around the room. I try to do things in sections. So then I will do the dishes and then, you know, I'll go around the room and pick stuff up and then wipe down the counters and, you know, just doing all the things in the kitchen today. I 
As much as I love the Mrs. Myers cleaning sprays, I'm honestly just kind of tired of them. I feel like I've been using them for so long that I'm just itching to try something new. So I want you guys to leave me some recommendations down below of your favorite multi-purpose cleaners. Um, specifically the ones that have more of like a fresh scent. I'm not a huge like floral person or like overwhelming scents. I really just enjoy like a nice light fresh scent. So leave me your recommendations down below. I would love to hear what products you guys are loving. The last thing that I'm going to be tackling in today's video is just vacuuming down the kitchen. Um, I do mop and I mentioned that earlier that I came back down this night and I mopped after I had put everybody to bed. It's just easier that way and I actually ended up mopping the entire first floor so coming down the next morning it was just so nice. It was so uh, I just love coming downstairs to a nice clean home. But anyway, that is actually going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. You guys are the best and I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go check them out. I have that linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.